So what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning back into another video. Real quick, I would like to know how you guys are doing with all this social distancing. Uh, we are taking this opportunity to become closer to the Lord and just become closer as a family. But I would like to know how are you guys doing? Uh, you know, there's a lot of businesses shut down. You know, people, or a lot of people that I know are out of work and they're not getting paid. And you know, that can be hard on a family. And I wanna know what you guys are going through and if there's any prayers that we can help you guys with, we would really wanna um, send those your way. One thing that we are gonna be doing to occupy our time is we're getting chickens. We're starting off the season. We're gonna be getting 100 Cornish Cross. I just ended up picking up the feed and Chris got the brooders all set up. We are going Real basic, we got kitty pools, we got some chicken wire, clean bedding, we got the uh, lights all set up, like a chandelier. This is looking really sweet right now. And you know, it's really basic and really easy and anyone can do this. I mean, you're talking $5 kitty pools, some leftover chicken wire, and the lights, you know, probably to be honest, probably the lights is probably the most expensive thing. But we are doing really good. We got uh, a lot of things going on. Uh, we have just finished broad forking the garden. As I got home, I saw that Chris finished that up. So that's looking really good. We got some seeds going in the greenhouse. And right now, the biggest thing is getting this ton of feed off the truck. I'm going to let Chris handle that because he looks like he's doing good. Just joking. And, uh, you know... This is gonna be hanging out. It's a beautiful day. I'm home from work. We're on rotating shifts. So, because things are a little slow for us, uh, the county basically shut down and they don't need a whole workforce. However, uh, they are rotating people out. So I'm still working. I mean, look at this. Look at this garden. Look at the soil. Isn't this good? Guys, this, look at how great the soil is. This used to be these wood chips over here. And with the chickens, help break it down. It's looking really good. Now that we got all the feed put away, we are all set for our chicks and we should be getting them tomorrow. So that's gonna be really good. That's gonna put food in our freezer, chicken in our freezer, and also the opportunity to sell some chicken uh, to our community to put food in their freezer. And we're really excited about that because you know we just did the pigs and it's another new year. Last year we did, I think it was about 300 chickens, uh, 350 around there. So that was huge for us. That was the most chickens that we ever did. And I think we're gonna push the limits again. We're gonna you know, try to uh, succeed that. We're starting earlier than we did last year. And potentially every four weeks, we're gonna be getting some new chicks and butchering. So that's gonna be really fun. Uh, you know, it's a lot of work, but we definitely enjoy it. Right now, what we're gonna be doing is working on the garden. We got it all broad forked. And like I said, the benefit of that is we're not killing any earthworms. The earthworms are help fertilize. They also, their, their holes help, you know, make the soil porous so water gets down deep. And then what we're gonna be doing now is just for the safe side, we're gonna put some down to earth 
444. That's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Uh, this is just an overall generic uh, fertilizer number just to get things started. Yeah, we got the chickens on there all winter long. We had a tons of nitrogen. However, we just want to put the icing on the cake and make sure our garden is successful. So I'm gonna go ahead and spread that around. And what we're gonna be doing now is wood chipping it. What we're gonna be doing is probably putting a two inch layer of wood chips on the entire garden. And when we come to plant, we can just move it to a side and put our seed down. Now what the wood chips do are a few things. For one, we're building that topsoil. Also, we're blocking the weeds from growing and also blocking moisture, from lose, losing moisture that is. Uh, it's preventing the sun to directly hit that soil and evaporate the moisture that's most important for the roots and for the vegetables and just the moisture and water for them to grow and it allows us to water less because that moisture stays in the ground. So we got a lot of work to do. We got some elbow grease, two wheelbarrows, some shovels and a pitchfork. We're gonna take turns and try to do as much as we can today. So let's get to work. I'm, I'm so amped right now, like, everyone working together. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm like sick in this soil, it's so soft. Oh yeah, it's good. Oh my goodness. It's good. <laughs> so wood chips turned to beautiful soil. And this is only our third growing season and it is amazing because this used to be all green grass, this was just yard and we have converted it into healthy soil in only three years. And it's only gonna get better the more we continue to layer with chips, put chickens on here and just allow all the leftover vegetation at the end of the year to go back into the ground it's gonna be awesome I think the vision is to have this entire side of the yard filled with vegetables that way we have food for ourselves and also to sell go to markets and you know farmers markets and just be able to help local community you know get healthy food for themselves and it's gonna be amazing. I can't wait to see what happens over the years and allow these kids to know where their food is coming from is such such an amazing story. Oh, well, my dad's helping. I can help, help you help your dad. I help my dad. Okay. okay Me and dad get this one. Me and dad have a big so we are on the move I want to show you guys this I am sinking down into the dirt I don't know if you can see my feet right now but this dirt is so soft it's amazing I'm gonna show you I'm gonna dig down a little bit I mean, look at this. Look at, yeah, worm, earthworm, another earthworm. Like, I mean, look at this. I'm just digging down another earthworm with ease. I mean, bare hands. I've already dug probably eight, eight inches. This is amazing. We'll put these earthworms back in, cover it up, get this rock out of here, and we're off. We're moving. We're going to be able to finish chipping this entire thing we're cruising we got about two four six eight ten twelve piles already in we got another, probably another 30 more oh, look at that yours are sinking in so look at the soil look how deep he went and that's just a wheelbarrow imagine if there was a tractor on here it would have sunk right in 
Look at these tracks. You just sink right into this. This soil is absolutely amazing. Oh, I can't, can't get enough of it. I'm so pumped right now. Year one, people were laughing at us. There's no way you're gonna make a garden out of wood chips. As you can tell, this soil is absolutely amazing. And it's all from wood chips, chickens, and broad forking. Nothing has been taken off this garden. The plate has never been cleared. All the leftover vegetation, the leaves, the vines, go right back into soil, building that topsoil up. I mean, this looks tilled. This was not, this was all broad forked. And it is, I mean, it's so fine. As you guys saw, like I was literally just scooping up, just moving the soil. I mean, a good eight inches, and I could have gone even deeper. And this is absolutely amazing, guys. I'm telling you, people might look at you like you're crazy, but you can grow into wood chips. It might take, this is just the third year, it might take a year or two, but it can be done, and it can be done. I mean, this, this is a testament right here of what wood chips can do and bring healthy food to your family. Daddy, don't, you don't have to do it anymore because that was the last one. No, this is the last one. Yeah, that's why you said. You don't scoop. have to do it anymore. Looking good. It's looking good. Nice, good job. All right. Okay, great job. So Chris has got the last wheelbarrow and we just busted out the entire garden. All we gotta do now is rake it out and it is complete. So all these wood chips that we just put down is actually gonna be next year's soil and that's the key is just continuing to build that topsoil and guys we're gonna end this video we're pretty tired we're out of breath I'm out of breath right now I think Chris is too maybe not yep. he digs holes for a living so I'm just sitting at a desk right now but hey guys I appreciate you tuning in I appreciate you guys taking the time out of your life to watch ours if you haven't please hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and please don't be afraid to leave comments and guys let me know what you guys are doing to you know connect with people whether you guys are talking through online I know our family uses the app Marco Polo a lot uh, you know that's how we are staying connected and to be honest we're still getting together I mean there's over 10 people in this house so this whole number 10 don't be around 10 people we're blowing that up every day. So, hey guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Please stay safe. And please remember, fear is not from the Lord. We'll see you guys around. Hello.